everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and today... And we, Max. And we have another <laughs> episode of Toy Talk for so, you guys. Sorry, it's been a while. Uh, we have a little bit of cool doll news. I wish there was more going on. And then I eventually am going to do put together a best of episode with your comments, so please leave some thoughtful comments below. And it's going to be best of for November. I know it's already December. Sorry, guys, but we'll get it done. And we have some more cool stuff on the way this month. So, like always, we have the good, the bad, and the ugly. And what that is, is while we're going through the pictures, we'll pick each of us, pick a good, a bad, and ugly. And down in the comments, you guys can pick your goods, bads, and uglies. Sometimes we don't have all three. Sometimes there's nothing. It's kind of a find. loose yeah. thing. We're just having fun here. Hope you guys do, too. So up first is DC Superhero Girls. Katana has a action figure form. Well, while we're just talking about that, I'll put that this with a good. Uh, I do like the DC Superhero Girl action figures. I think they're pretty good quality. Yeah. And I like this one a lot. But she apparently is hard to find. There have been people that found her. Um, we personally have not, but we need to go on a toy hunt. And I'm really looking forward to her. Yeah, I think she looks cool. Um, not as cool as her San Diego Comic Con doll, but for an action figure, I like her. What if they had the action figure with all the accessories similar to the doll? <laughs> yeah, that would have been cooler. So, next up, some Monster High, some hair raisin ghouls. And um, these are just some of the last ones that haven't been released yet. And this is with my good. This is a quality release from Mattel, mm -hmm. which, honestly, there's not a lot great lately. So I'm, we're really looking forward to these. I love all the accessories. I think uh, Twilight and Claudine look really cool. I wish they all in this line got this treatment with, mm -hmm. with the accessories and the pets. Even Frankie. I would have preferred this than what we got for the Frankie doll. Yeah. I'd put this on my good, too. I think she looks cool. Um, I think all the electrified are really uh, interesting designs in fashion, so I like them. Some more pictures of Twyla up close. And her shoes. And then here's a picture of Claudine's shoes. I hope the bow Lots and the shoes stay translucent when the actual release, because a lot of these Mattel promo pictures don't always reflect the final product. Yeah, a lot of the times they look better than the final product does. <laughs> but for the other Electrify dolls, I think these are like on par with them, so I think it'll come out looking like this. Here's some Claudine. Her hair's like really fluffy all the different hair accessories wow look at all of them I like the little pets the little zap creatures they're cute so jointed dolls and lots of accessories there's still no no stand I've like given up on that at this point yeah I, just I, think, buy <laughs> I think they're completely done Ever After High and Monster High is completely done. I, I, I actually, based on what we've been getting, I don't care about the stand anymore. I just want joints and accessories. Mm -hmm. And some artwork here for Frankie, I still uh, Sylvia, want... and Ari. So, Sylvie. Sylvie. <laughs> I still want a Monster High comic. Yeah. And if you notice here, here's a promo picture, a recent mm -hmm. promo picture, and... Frankie Electrified still has a, a left jointed arm. Yeah. <laughs> but she did not upon final release. Yeah. It's like right before they go into production, like, what can we make this save a little bit more money on? I guess so. And here is like a school play set. First day of school goals or something. I think that's the line. That's one of my favorites they released this year. Mm -hmm. So we still need the Laguna and the Claudine. Here's another good for me. I think all three of these, Abby, 
um, Rochelle and Venus look really good in this picture. Yeah, I, I can't wait for this line. Especially, it's one of those lines where the secondary characters get more of a... It's a quality doll release, joints, accessories, and it's the secondary characters, not the main yeah. main goals. What more can you ask for? And I, they all look great. I like that Venus. Yeah, she's really cute. So here's some pictures of minis. <laughs> you still have um, an unboxing to do of the minis wave two. He did wave three already, but yeah, yeah but you really enjoyed it. Yeah, I really like it when they're like the first time I opened the minis. It was just all the th one series, the original ghouls. And that was not nearly as fun when you get a mixture of all the different lines for the minis. Um, this pr Frankie in particular I think is really cute. She's like a kiwi Frankie. Fruity Frankie. And I think that the, uh, the electrified uh, minis look cute too. Just a random picture of the uh, Cuckoo Harajuku doll girls. Mm -hmm. We still have not watched it yet. We're gonna probably watch that soon. Yeah. Alright, some My Little Pony pictures. Some new upcoming ponies. The reason these are included in Toy Talk, it looks like these are the sort of semi reboot uh, new design, it looks like. I think they are. F like, they have the, um, by the logo, they have the thing that was for, um, the, uh, Guardian, not Guardians of Harmony, Guardians of Harmony? Or the Equestria ones? I don't know, I'm not, I'm the, not up the on The fan series they had. Guardians with, of Harmony's the fan series. Yeah, and that had all the different characters in it. And this one has all the different characters in the the well, near the you, top so do you like how they look what do you viewers think what do you think um <laughs> would you prefer what you have now or this i like that they d have different expressions i think they look cute uh, i don't like that rarity twilight looks okay there yeah she looks pretty cool I like that they're trying to give them each kind of more of a unique pose and facial expression because right now when you get a pony it's all the same stagnant pose. I mean they look different but you know you get the same the four hooves on the ground you know same pose. So moving on we had some squishables and plushy news. That's the arctic fox and a croissant. So are you going to pick which one out of the two we want? I guess I didn't plan that, but we can. Um, these are cool. These aren't my favorite that are in this episode. There's more coming. Uh, if I had to pick one or the other. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of a... We should start doing that. Okay. We just thought of something new for Toy Talk. We'll try <laughs> to do that in the future. All right. Go ahead. Um, I think I will pick the croissant. I'd go croissant. I knew I already. I didn't even have to ask her. All right, next. Uh, I'm gonna pick gingerbread. <laughs> I was gonna pick the polar bear. The great thing about this polar bear is Squishables is a great company, and every year they make a new design. Well, as far as I've been following them, the last three years, they make a new design of a special Squishable. That if you buy one, they send one to this charity. I think it's called Kids. I forget all what the charity does, but it's a charity. Yeah. And they send a squishable to a, a kid or someone in need, so that's cool. And they would get that polar bear. Last year was a reindeer, right? Reindeer, and they had a snowman one time. Uh. I, my reindeer was my favorite before this, and I like that. I like that. Polar well, bear. besides the charity thing, just based on their looks, my favorite. Oh, is okay. The getting all technical. Man. Well, I I can't factor whatever. in the charity. That's a, okay. Uh, I'd still pick the polar bear. There you go. All right. <laughs> so this one's kind of harder for me because I think they're both really cute. Now you have the one, but this is 
this is just for you viewers if you've ever wanted to get into squishables that ice cream cone is one of the coolest ones and they now have a mini which we prefer the minis but sometimes we buy the regular I'm glad size I have the big size oh okay of the squid of the ice cream cone because we don't always know if they're always going to get a mini version but they do have a mini version of ice cream cone and that one sold out pretty quick the last time okay well since i already have the ice cream cone i'm gonna go no. with the bunny I'm going with your rolls. You can't factor in stuff like that, just one or the other. Uh, Not if you already have one. Well, I'm going bunny. Oh, uh, all right. Well, I was going to go bunny, too. All right. All right. Next two. Is I'll, that like a goat or a sheep? A lamb. A lamb? I'll go with the lamb. I'm going with the crocodile. I like it. Okay. I like alligators and crocodiles. All right. Next two. That, I believe, is a jackalope. Yes. And then a cloud with a little raindrop and a little, little, oh. little, little hands. They're both really cute. I actually am not that much of a fan of the cloud. I'm going to go jackalope. Um, I like Viewers, the jackalope, too. Play along in the comments, which is your favorite of the two. All right. I did this without even realizing I set it up like this. It's running perfectly. <laughs> one or the... All right, next two. I will go the hammerhead shark. My favorite is the pizza. I thought so. Yeah. All right, next two. This one's pretty hard for me too. Oh no! But no. I go red panda. Definitely red panda. Pineapple's really. Cute, I really though. like the. Um, I forget his name. We haven't watched the series in a long. Legend of Korra, mm -hmm. the panda fire or the red panda ferret <laughs> type character. Yeah. The fire ferret. Fire ferret, yes. Okay, so my favorite out of this two is the seal. Me too, not puffer, puffer fish. fish. It makes a lot of sense for a squishable. <laughs> yeah. For a puffer fish, squish them down <laughs> and he pops back up. That's but I really still, cute. I still pick the seal. Yeah. So good. Moving on from squishables to build a bear. And this is possibly old build a bear news, but. Sorry, guys, it's been a while. We have the toy talk ready now. Uh, let's get on to it, I guess. I'm sorry. They have the reindeer, and then they have how the Grinch stole Christmas. This makes a lot of sense. I will say good. Yeah. I would like to see more uh, Dr. Seuss at Build-A-Bear. That would be really cute, yeah. An elf. Uh, he's kind of derpy looking, but... I kind of still like it because Elf is a kind of dopey character. I like the movie, and I like Will Ferrell in that thing a lot, so I think it kind of fits. I'm going to say bad. Oh, bad? I don't like it. And they're adding this blue reindeer to the lineup, Tinsel, which I kind of want because it's blue. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then they have Twinkle, and then the white one, which was there last year, too. But I can't remember her name. And then Kylo Ren Bear is at Build the Bear. I already got yeah. mine. Yeah, you have him. Yeah, and his lightsaber is really cool. It's like specifically for him. It makes noise too and lights up. I didn't realize that until I actually tried it in the store. This is ugly. I think this series is definitely going to die. Ugly. The mixters. Yeah, I don't like the mixters either. I'm putting. I mean, ugly. the idea of more customization when you build a bear and not just one solid plushie is interesting. The execution is not there though, and he kind of looks scary. I don't want to see like that. He looks like a yeti. I don't want to see that in the dark. Look, at his, <laughs> look, if you woke up at night, would you want to see that face? Nope. Probably but not. But ugly. Probably not. Especially if you put like a roar sound in him, that might scare ah. kids. Um, so we have a husky, uh, uh, Paw Patrol. Yeah, looks soft and fluffy. I know nothing about, but looks kind of cool. And this is the last picture for this toy. It talk. is. Yes. Oh no. Yeah. Short episode. It's good. Um. So, Five Nights at Freddy's Glow in the Dark Mystery Minis. I like Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, the toy industry, they go overboard. There's like too much Five Nights out right now. And they already have Mystery Minis. Do you think it was good to do a glow in the dark too? Oh yeah. 
The whole games are set in like dark at night. I think they could have just included this with the first version and do a few glow in the dark. Well, like I'm sure there's lots of people that are Five Nights at Freddy's fans that are thrilled about all the stuff they get. Yeah. We we, we never played the game. We're not into the like the fandom for it or anything. So that's probably why Max is saying that. But for those who do like it, you get more. So um, that wraps it up for this toy talk. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, sorry, I'm procrastinating a little bit on the best of episode, but it will come and it'll include your comments. I'm trying to do the best of stop news and what we found hunts in the stores and reviews from November. So stay tuned to that and uh if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button we appreciate all the support you've given to us already thank you so much all right see you later bye